Hey guys, so before I start this video, I just wanted to give a quick thank you to Freya for sponsoring this video. I'm literally so excited to work with them because this company just aligns with me, my channel, and what I preach. So Freya is a period care brand. They sell tampons and pads and all their products are non-toxic. They don't have any of those chemicals that you get like for buying tampons at the drugstore. And the thing is, is I have a very heavy flow. And when it came to my period care, it's either like I go to the drugstore and buy the regular tampon brand and that has like literally chemicals in it that are not good for you but i felt like i had no other choice because the only other option that i like saw was 100 percent caught in tampon which technically don't have chemicals in them but they are not very good at keeping the leakage in like they just don't absorb very well and i find i'm leaking through them within like literally an hour so the issue with just like your day-to-day -day drugstore um tampons and period care is that they do contain chemicals and these chemicals are obviously not good to put in your body every single month for a weeks at a time like that's a lot of time so they actually do contain like chemicals that can double your chance of getting like breast cancer and that's just horrible and scary so if you guys want to go natural and have the good absorbency then this is why i'm like introducing you guys to Fre freya literally i feel so safe while wearing the products no chemicals, everything, like even the applicator is BPA free. So they actually weave their fabrics differently, which allows for the more absorption. And they also sell like their pads and their tampons in all absorbency levels. So you guys can pick your own. And literally the best thing about them is they have a monthly subscription. So you can literally get your tampons and pads delivered to your door. You can customize your order, what you want, and you can get them delivered to your door every month. So you don't have to worry about going to buy them. They'll just show up at your door and it's really easy. And yeah, honestly, we just have to be really cautious especially as women and what we're putting inside our bodies. So I do have a coupon code for you guys and it's just Michaela and you guys can get 20% off. And also, okay, can we just talk about the color of the packaging? Like this is so aesthetic. Like pink, are you kidding me? Like I'm obsessed. But yeah, thank you Freya so much for sponsoring today's video. Again, link will be in the description. Hey guys, what is up? So I'm actually just about to leave for set. I just do my makeup. It's about like one o'clock now and my call time is at two and it's near my house, like the location. And this has never happened. Like this is actually like 10 minutes away from me, which is like the most amazing thing ever. But yeah, I'm just about to leave because I always give myself at least like 45 minutes to half an hour wiggle room just to make sure that like I'm not late because I hate Hate being late so i make sure that i prepare and leave early no matter what even if it's close by i just hate rushing like it's it gives me so much anxiety it's the worst feeling so i always make sure to be super early and yeah that's what i'm gonna have in store for the rest of the day i just wanted to start off this vlog though and yeah i did have a covid test this morning because tomorrow i booked an actor role which is really freaking exciting it all happened so last minute so i'm on set tomorrow and i think friday as well so for the rest of the week i'm gonna be on set but i'm gonna vlog as much as i can for the rest of the week yeah just to show you guys kind of like some days in my life yeah okay i'm gonna leave before i actually become late i'm gonna go pee and then leave to you guys when i see you okay so i ordered from sephora i got a couple of things if you have eczema or dry skin these products are going to be beneficial so stay tuned i don't think i've ever bought like skincare before from sephora i don't know i usually just buy makeup from there but anyways products that i have been using so far have been able to combat my skin dryness but i do suffer from eczema i don't want to say it's severe because i know there's people who have it way worse than me so i'm not gonna like complain too much about it but i do get dry patches of eczema on my forehead i get it like in between my eyebrows in the springtime it flares up again in the winter it's just from the dryness that it flares up and i just like haven't found a good solution there's only so much that regular products can do that are not specifically catered for eczema skin so i went on sephora i watched some youtube videos for like eczema specific products there's this one ingredient called colloidal oatmeal i'm pretty sure and apparently it's like really good for eczema and none of the products that i have have that ingredient in it so i ordered a couple things with it and i'm really excited to try them out i'll update you on how they are before i like open the package one thing that has actually helped me are these vitamin e pills so these are literally just like vitamin e pills like you literally get them in the bottle they're the gel kind what i do is i squirt one open like i just poke a hole and then the gel comes out and i mix a bit of it in with my moisturizer and it actually makes my skin so hydrated so it does help with my eczema so if you guys suffer from dry skin get vitamin e pills mix it in with your moisturizer if you put it on like just the oil on your skin it's not going to soak in so well but mixing it in with the moisturizer 
does wonders i'm telling you so good um so that's like a quick fix but then again i have eczema so i want to get something that's more catered for that and i refuse to use topical steroids like to for the cream treatment because i know like i can just go to the doctor and get like a treatment for it like a cream or whatever steroid cream but i do not want to because my mom has had the worst experience beyond with that like I don't even want to get into it right now. I'm going to try and heal it like without that. Okay, so the first thing that I got is this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. And apparently this brand is actually catered towards people with eczema and very dry skin. This is like a really good company because they have no fragrance. It's like all like safe to use on sensitive eczema prone dry ass skin. So I'm so excited to try this because people say that this is like their number one. So I'm really excited to try this. This can be used like on your face or anywhere really. So yeah, I'll update you guys how this is but i'm really excited to try it quite pricey but it's worth it because i just don't want to deal with flaky eczema this winter season um the next thing that i got is this ultra repair wild oat hydrating toner so this has clodial oatmeal and it's a toner so basically after you wash your face put this on a con pad and it's a very milky consistency and then apparently it's really good for eczema because of the clodial oatmeal in it and yeah this one's also like fragrance free and made for like eczema dry skin type of people so I'm really excited to try this apparently this like really plumps and hydrates your skin so hopefully with these two combined it's like the magic team for eczema for me and then the last thing that i got was this skin fix kit i was originally just going to get the face balm but then this kit literally was like ten dollars or less more than just the face balm in here and it comes with like three other products so i'm like kind of have to spend like the extra ten dollars to get three other products like that was such a good deal and it comes with a cute little case as well i don't know if they still have it i don't know if it was like a limited thing but oh this is so cute actually so it comes with a eczema foaming oil body wash so this is the um original face balm that i was gonna order apparently this is like the literal holy grail and then it also comes with a uh, hand cream and a targeted body bomb this actually comes with a lot of stuff for the price it was definitely worth it for me and i'm excited to try all of these out and i will update you guys when i do oh. so i just ordered the sugar the Anyways, I got the oat sugar cookie latte. Is that how you say it? I don't know, but it was so busy. The first Starbucks we went to didn't have oat milk and I'm like, I can't, I'm sorry, but I can't do it without the oat milk because I feel like that's what makes a drink so good. And the almond milk, I just don't really like because I just think it's a little buttery. And if I'm paying top dollar for a drink, I want to make sure that it has like, you know, the good oat milk. First impressions on the new drink. I think it has sprinkles on it. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it probably does, but it probably sunk to the bottom. True. Anyways, the cups are so cute. We're gonna put on a Christmas song after this and get in the vibe. Okay, let's taste oh, yeah. it. It's good, but it's like not what I expected. Can I taste it? I just got a peppermint mocha. I like it a lot, but like it's just, no I don't know if it's what I expected, you know? It's hot. Is it hot? It's hot. It's really hot. Just be careful. It smells like a sugar cookie. Actually, it smells like caramel. But it's just not what, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Like I can't describe, like it doesn't necessarily taste like a cookie though. It tastes good oh yeah but like you, it's it just very subtle yeah like, it's, it's very not... subtle it's not like as like sugary as you would think it is like sugar yeah. cookie like i thought that like britney doesn't like like sweet drinks so i was like oh she'd probably have to order like half sweet but like you would not need to order yeah half this sweet this that. is really not sweet like whatsoever i was expecting more of like the pumpkin spice kind of like zip to it where like no, no not pumpkin spice flavor well, i'm not saying pumpkin spice flavor i'm saying how the pumpkin spice is so like prominent in the pumpkin spice but this is not really so prominent like it's very like not almost not there it's good also you guys i was literally looking at how much sugar like i was on the starbucks app and i was looking how much sugar each of their drinks has and you won't believe it the pumpkins like I want to cry. Like, I'm pretty sure the pumpkin spice... It's not loading right now, but I'm pretty sure the pumpkin spice latte... Okay, any... Like, we have places to be. Hold on. This sugar oat cookie latte thing has 20 grams of sugar, which is actually good because the pumpkin spice latte, I'm pretty sure it has 50. Like, I'm not even 52. kidding. 52. 52 grams of sugar. Like, that's literally insane. I didn't know they had that much sugar. So, anyways, I have, whatever. like, 10 of them, too. I know, whatever. It's a treat, but there's, like, just beware. <laughs> I feel so guilty now. No, don't feel guilty. It's fine. Like, you're allowed to treat yourself, but it's like... I don't want to look up how much the peppermint mocha has. Let's see. Oh, no, I don't think it's that bad. Oh, don't. Don't. You're not going to want to look at the peppermint mocha. What is it? I'm not, not going to tell you. Just tell me. I don't care. 
Yeah, it's like 40 something. Anyways, so we're just about to head to Winners to get my mom and Brittany like a birthday gift because we're celebrating their birthdays tonight together. It's pouring rain right now. And if we ever like get to the store. Wet. Okay, let's go. And Hey guys, what is up? So today, me and Madison and her friend Sadie are going to the H&M warehouse sale. I think this is like the first time ever that they're doing it or that we know of. We saw the ad on TikTok and I'm like, oh my god, we have to go because Aritzia usually does a warehouse sale here in Vancouver every single year but this year and last year they didn't do one because of COVID I'm pretty sure. I know last year they didn't do one for sure and I didn't hear anything this year so I don't think that they're going to do one. I think it would have already been um but weirdly enough h&m is doing a warehouse sale and it's kind of weird because like i've never heard of them doing a warehouse sale before so i really hope that there's good stuff and usually like warehouse sales are like 50 to 80 percent off so i really hope that we can find like some good shit you know for the season i'm guessing maybe they're gonna have like summer clothing too just because like they're trying to like get rid of their stock and stuff but i hope that there's like good stuff and we're going on the first day the sale is from the 8th to the 13th and today's the 8th we're going right when it opens it opens at 11 so we're about to leave right now yeah so hopefully i come back and i can give you guys a haul um if we find some good stuff or if we find anything i'll let you guys know yeah let's go i'm gonna vlog inside like i have my little camera in my purse here so that i can show you guys like what it looks like so i'm really curious yeah anyways so this is just my fit i'm just going comfy today these are the sweatpants that i thrifted this is from zaffo i got so long ago and this purse is also thrifted as madison's so i got a caramel brulee this is my first time trying it oh i thought you got the sugar cookie oh no i tried it hot so you have to let me know how that is but i've never tried this one and they discontinued my favorite which was the gingerbread latte okay can you hurry up it's a bit because that's what it is it tastes exactly like a caramel macchiato this tastes exactly like your drink but cold really it's good mm -hmm. because you said it tasted actually tasted okay. it kind of tastes like more Oh, this is good. This does taste literally like my. It drink. tastes like a caramel macchiato. This is good. Like it's it's good, but it just tastes like a caramel macchiato. It tastes way different from um, hot. With? Yeah. Mm. I actually I like, like it's, this. It's very like strong. Oh really? Oh. I like this. I think because it's not like overwhelmingly sweet. You know what I mean? Yeah, that like, one. That is... was the one thing about the pumpkin spice latte. Like I love pumpkin spice latte, but it was like very sweet. Very intense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is a lot less sweet than the caramel brulee which is weird because that's like called a sugar cookie mm -hmm. so you think that it would be more but it's not it's like really not intense at all all right this is where i go home Madison. <laughs> no this because it's gonna take my entire day like This place, Bourbon St. Grill. It looks really good. I got chicken, noodles, and broccoli. I also just did a very expensive purchase, but it was for something that I've been needing, so it would be fine, but very expensive. So I'll let you tell you guys later. to the H&M warehouse sale because we literally got there and I'm not even kidding you when I say that the lineup was like probably like, a two hour. like at least two hours probably could have been like three maybe four I don't know how fast it was moving but we literally got there like 11 20 and it opened at 11 and 
like the parking lot was just buzzing like you couldn't even get out you couldn't get in barely and the lineup was just crazy so i bet you there was people that literally came like hours early and just like got their place in line got their parking and we didn't even think of that because in my head i'm like oh you know what it's a monday so who's gonna be like who's like there's school there's work it's not a holiday you know so in my head i was like it's not gonna be busy like it's a monday but people obviously like skip school or something and work for this because it was so busy so we were like you know what it just opened it's the first day so whatever so we were like why don't we go to the mall and just like browse around waste some time and then go back and see what the lineup is like then so that's what we did we spent a few hours at the mall and then went back and the lineup was literally pretty much the same maybe a tiny bit shorter but pretty much the same so it was really busy so the sale is until saturday so we're thinking of going like another time during the week but going like extra early or i don't know some day where it's gonna be less busy i feel like tomorrow's gonna be less busy i feel like thursday is a holiday so it's gonna be really busy and so is saturday so the only days that aren't gonna be busy in my head like as busy is the tuesday and the, and the wednesday so we're gonna try and go one of those days this week um hopefully but i feel like you just have to come so early or you're gonna have to wait in some type of line and we we were also not prepared i literally wore this crop sweater and i didn't even bring a jacket because i thought we would we would just be able to like go in and it is pretty chilly like it was literally snowing in some parts here and like higher elevation so it's actually really cold so we weren't even prepared to wait so yeah we'll see we didn't want to wait because we didn't know if it was going to be even worth it it's not like something i'm gonna go to sleep over like sadie said like it's just like it's not that big of a deal like it'd be nice to see it but like honestly i don't want to spend my day in a line like i first of all i don't have patience so waiting in that line would be ridiculous the mm -hmm. un like hard for me like i cannot wait yeah like that's really just and like just to like what are the chances you're gonna go with like there is a good chance you're gonna find stuff in there but it's like for clothing i shouldn't even spend the money anyways it, it would be like really cheap and maybe maybe worth it but i also kind of like, want to but like the thing is is that if it was like a, like a ritzia warehouse sale it's more worth it because ritzia is so expensive like h&m yeah. is not expensive so like it's not as expensive i should say so like going there like it just kind of like you know H&M is pretty cheap anyway. And like they have sales yeah. most of the time. So like, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, so we didn't even end up going. So we just went grocery shopping for tacos tonight because my parents are out of the house. So we have the whole house to ourselves. So that's kind of nice. They're gone for two nights. Shit's gonna go wild. We just got a poppy because Remembrance Day is on Wednesday. I thought it was on Thursday. It's on, it's on Thursday. Thursday. It's on Thursday. Let me know if you guys, like in your area, if Remembrance Day is a holiday or if it's not because for us it's like everybody gets a day off of work and it's considered like a holiday but i know in some places that it's not so comment down below if it's like a ho stat holiday for you guys so i'm just curious it should be okay so while i was at the mall i did purchase a couple things so the first thing that i got is just like the crew neck that you guys saw that i had on in the clip i don't know i'm just like in love with crew necks and i love the color and it was 40 percent off so i couldn't help myself but yeah the color's just so cute it's from airy and the other thing that i bought is i bought an Aritzia Super Puff, but I don't have it with me now because they didn't have this small size, but I'll put a picture of it on the screen. So it's coming to my door and I'm so excited. When it comes in, I'll like show you guys um, probably in another vlog. So stay tuned for that. So the Aritzia Super Puff was like a big purchase, but it's worth it because I don't have like a good staple winter jacket. So I'm so excited. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next vlog. I love you guys so much. Peace out.